hi guys welcome back to my channel so I have a Dollar Tree haul for you this is the Rocky Mount to borrow and Smithfield shop with me um, I uploaded that walkthrough if you missed it I will pin it in the comments and also thank you to those of you who supported my furniture collab video with Herness furniture I also put the link to that video in the comment section oh we're outside guys <laughs> uh, we are outside I'm enjoying my uh, last day of freedom before I have to turn myself in for 72 hours. Is it 72 or 36? Wait a minute. 12, 12, 24, 36 hours. Can't even count. Okay, I have been in those streets all day. I have been in the Dollar Tree streets all day. I went to, I didn't really know where I was going and not sure if I went in the right direction. I stopped at Nightdale. Big disappointment since they reopened. No, not Nightdale, Zebulon. Then I went to Nightdale. Then I made my way over to uh, Capitol Boulevard. I ran into that Ollie's. I went into the Dollar Tree. Uh, then I was in Wake Forest. Then I was over here. Then I was over there. And I'm just getting home now at six o'clock. Okay, been in the streets like I was at work somewhere. So things are still in the bag. I have to try to hurry up because we're going to the movies. I might fall asleep in the movie theater. Um, they did have an outdoor event here in Greenville at that beautiful park I showed you that I went to and I tried to do a haul, but it's hot, y'all. It's almost 90 degrees, okay? If I Spy was not downstairs, I would be inside showing you guys my beautiful new living room. I absolutely love it. I love it. I was going to do something and, you know, that collab came through. That's not the direction that I was going to, but sometimes things don't work out because there's something better, okay? And I believe that's what happened. I'm sorry, y'all. I really should have had this set up. So I will share the details of that wall. I did not want to share the details in the collab video because believe it or not, there are some people that have sponsored videos for those 3D tiles. So I don't want to seem like I'm double dipping. The video was sponsored by Hernes Furniture, so I wanted to really talk about that. But that wall, TikTok made me do that wall. Um, I was on TikTok one night and, you know, they really pushed the TikTok shop and they were pushing those 3D panels. And I almost ordered them from the TikTok shop, but I'm more comfortable with Amazon and Amazon's return policy just like those lights that I ordered for the cabinet one was defective I don't have nothing to do but go on the um, Amazon app start a return drop it off at the UPS store down the street and I get my money back right away you understand I, I have bought one thing from the TikTok shop I don't really know their return policy I don't want to be bothered you know sometimes it's more of a hassle to return something and you end up not returning it so I didn't want to take the chance so uh, they are on Amazon. I will put the link in the comment section. They are hard. I don't know if the material is plastic or PVC. I really don't know. Um, but they're hard panels. And um, I use double-sided tape, not the Dollar Tree double-sided tape, not even the Super Clue Dollar Tree double-sided tape because I've had experience with that and it's not the best. Um, I watched several videos before I installed it. And um, some people use the um, Gorilla Glue concrete glue, but that's more for like a permanent, you know, you're going to have some wall damage if you decide to rip that down. Um, but this one guy said he used the Scotch double-sided tape, and I Googled it, Walmart sold it, um, Target sold it, and I ordered that Scotch double-sided tape, and uh, went to town. And that wall actually was like 90% done for weeks. Guys, as soon as I knew I was getting the furniture piece and stuff like that, I ordered the wool and I started applying it right after Easter. Actually, the day after Easter, I started that wool. I just, when I did videos in the house, I didn't show you that wool. Um, yes, yeah, so um, I love it. Um, I have leftover tiles and I'm no good with measurements, guys. So if you ask me how big is that wool, I have no clue. On Amazon, the seller that I went with, sold it either in 49 or 48 piece or 49 like one of them I'll put it on the screen or a 24 pack I ordered the 48 piece and I was short so I ordered the 24 piece and I have several tiles left over 
um, yeah, so that's how I did it, guys. I didn't measure. Um, yeah, and to cut them, I just invested in some good quality scissors. The Dollar Tree scissors did not cut it. I found some scissors at Ollie's, came in a three pack. It was titanium something, and they cut through it much easier than the Dollar Tree. Some people use circular, so I'm not good with power tools and stuff like that. That's why the furniture piece, putting it together, was scary to me because I usually don't put furniture together. I don't. I've, when we first moved down here, I would say 90% of our furniture came out of the box with the exception of my couch. With my coffee table, that TV stand came from Pier 1. My end tables came from Pier 1. Um, I paid my brother to put it together. And then the little other smaller pieces, me and I Spy did, you know. So if I can do it, you can do it. And it, this gave me a big confidence boost, okay? We're not going to be waiting around. For nobody okay because we can do it i feel so accomplished and i feel like there's nothing i can i can't put together if you guys seen how big that box was how heavy those pieces are um and you see how long it is it's over 70 inches long but i did it yes i did so if i can do it you can do it but let's get into this haul. so the details for that um wool will be in the comment section the link to the amazon purchase and again um also i'll see if i can link the scotch tape very easy you just put a little bit of tape you know around the perimeter not a lot but just the important parts stick it on the wall move to the next that was the most tedious process dealing with that double-sided tape to be honest with you placing them on the walls easy peasy peeling that double-sided tape a pain and the you know what really um, if you have two people, one person doing the tape, one person doing the sticking, you can easily do that in one day. And I love that I went with black. They have them in white. I've even seen gold. And you can also spray paint them, okay? But I'm starting with black. I took a risk with picking, picking a white piece of furniture. Never in a million years did I think I would be interested in a white piece of furniture with my style. But I just love it. And I have painted before. I've stained furniture before. So worst case scenario, if I get tired of the white in a couple of years, I can stain it black. I can stain it charcoal gray. Um, whatever. But thanks for showing me support. If you haven't seen that video, check it out and check them out. Because you might see some pieces that you like. So let's just get into it, guys. I did pick up... A bag of this flavor boosters the garlic onion paprika I have been fortunate enough to see this locally and also fortunate enough to find it on the road um, I don't know if this is gonna work but I just for $1.25 I picked it picked it up and we will try it we will try it I'm not sure if I forgot to show you guys these huge birthday buttons that I got from Kingston in my last haul because sometimes bags get mixed up if I showed you already pretend you didn't see them so this is just a huge birthday button birthday mode on or you know who this one's for birthday queen just something cute just something cute just to feel special on your day I needed to refill because I go through Ziplocs and the Ziploc bags a lot and these are the ones I use a lot you know what I mean are uh, the sandwich uh, ones so I was having a hard time finding these locally so on the road I've seen the bowl roll 40 count and then I found the short fresh 45 and I was in one of my local stores and they had I think a 50 something count box but because I had bought a couple um, I said you know I'll check here hopefully they have it I had to get this pineapple fan when I looking through all of the fruit fans come on I gotta work on my right hand my right hand ain't popping I guess Jerrica's left-handed Erica's right-handed I don't know but look how beautiful I've pulled the cherry fan already you've seen that but look at the pineapple one so beautiful and I have hung these as wall decor I have some hanging in my glam area it's, they're just beautiful and the pineapple one is just gorgeous I love it so I did haul that fan I found the ultra washable big kids markers okay I did hold the crowns now I found the markers and this is a 10 piece set I did get the um, Playtex baby chest rub I have to put together a baby basket um, yeah so this is non medicated with eucalyptus rosemary chamomile it is hot y'all so I got that so happy I found more of this um, translucent pressed powder from essentially ageless I absolutely love this 
I really do have not seen this locally yet and even haven't seen it at Kingston yet I found this in Raleigh originally and then I don't know where I got this from but I know I, I found it at another location to be honest with you I really don't remember now y'all but I was just happy to see it again um, because I absolutely love this I took back that hard ass dog food okay that hard ass dog food please uh, one of you said your dog had no problem he's a bigger dog but Parker's a little chump with little chump teeth okay that dog food was hard as hell and I happened to have the open one with me I didn't expect credit but she said get two things so I returned the tricks and the buddy finger whatever they're calling it I returned that I mean so just be careful I don't know if it's stale if it's meant to be that hard but it was too hard for Parker he, he couldn't even do nothing with it and he don't pass up food so um, in place of that I just got two packs of these pads okay when we're not home when we're at work he is pad trained so um, can never have enough of those because we don't keep them down you know if it's they're really sold I don't want my house smelling so um, we don't keep them down so this is what I use the Dollar Tree inventory for and I did see them in Kingston and I've seen them on the road today these margarita glasses for Cinco de Mayo and I think these are awesome it actually is a necklace just because they were getting tangled guys this is just a tip if you're buying a lot of them it's easier to have them in the bag rolling them up okay because they will get tangled and we don't separating them we don't want them to break even this one came a little bit undone even this one came so the, since this one is a little bit undone it's a margarita glass necklace and I think it would be fun Cinco de Mayo pour you a little margarita you know make a big container and just keep keep sipping I just think that these are awesome and this is just the easy way to keep them stored because you do not want them getting tangled caught up and you know this is a Dollar Tree product we don't want to pop the pearls so I got all four of them the yellow the pink the green and the blue and I wanted them even though my daily Dollar Tree the inventory says they're across the street manager told me there's 11 cases for Cinco de Mayo but they are looking for an end cap of waiting I didn't want to wait guys because what if I don't see them and then I miss out so I was out I had the time off and I wanted to go to Smithfield anyway, so it was a win-win for me. I love the stuff that they gave this year for Cinco de Mayo. And these can be used for next year or whatever. If you're having a little gathering, this could be their little party favor. Um, you know, and they could take their behind home and take them, you know, take their margarita cup with them. But um, I thought that was really, really cute and it was very, very high on my wish list. I did pick up those these club crackers. Erica, they're open. Yes, I did open them. Um, when I packed my snackle box this week, I took some cheese and I wanted some crackers. So I put some crackers in there and some cheese. So yes, the snackle, you know, the crackers are open. But I have found those, uh, crack, those, um, what did I say? I found those, um, club crackers that Michelle had. I can't even see y'all, so right out here. Okay, so yes, that was the cracker. Something surprising at um, Smithfield. This was just left randomly at the back of the store. I was doing my last lap around, and I really had no intentions to walk back there. I just didn't think I would find anything. It's the back wall with the chemicals. There was nothing new in chemicals. Um, but I walked back there, and they had this dish cleaning brush from Simply Made. Now, on the road, I have seen the sink strainers. I have seen the bottle brush with the sponge. Um, I'm seeing the... Um, sink caddies everywhere uh, on the road only one of my local stores but I have not seen this at all and this was like by its lonesome so this is a dispensing dish brush so you put your soap inside I rather this than that other handheld one uh, we've been there done that with these I rather something with the handle maybe I don't have to get my hands as wet because I've washed my dishes with the hottest water that I can tolerate and my hands be on fire so I still have not seen any more of this I've seen someone haul it but I have not seen more of this one but I picked it up a wish list and my next getaway no matter if it's just for a weekend or what I will be using these packing cubes there are two different sizes guys this is the smaller one 
It's 11 and a half inches long by six and a half wide. This is the larger one. It's 11 and a half wide. No, that's not in line. It's seven and a half wide and 12.75 tall, okay? So let me open it up. Oh, wait a minute now. There's two pieces in here. Oh, wow. Guys, this is why reading is freaking fundamental. <laughs> the smaller one has two pieces in it. One is 13 by 7. Okay, the larger one, I did not know this, guys. 13 by 75 long, 9.75 wide. And this is the smaller one, 11 and a half long by 6.75 wide. Good for your toiletries, uh, maybe your underwear in here. So you get two for $1.25. Now, don't expect it to be super strong, but still, I think it will it will work, okay? It will work. Wow, I did not know it was two pieces in there. Okay. And it says it on the package, okay? That's why it was a miracle that I was able to follow those directions and put that furniture together. So that's the smaller pack. And the larger pack, you only get one. All right. And this is the larger one, okay? This is the larger one. I still say, you know, your underwear, socks, and stuff like that. I mean, for us plus size girlies, I mean, well, you're gonna fit one garment, you know, but <laughs> we're happy. <laughs> we're happy to have these. We're happy to have these. Now, while I was in Raleigh today, um, well, locally, my local store's got the butter dispensers, so I did pick up some more so I can share, okay? Um, if you missed it, it's a butter dispenser. It can fit a half a stick of butter, and you can butter your corn without burning your fingers. Um, but I ran into Ollie's, and I got these Sunnies from Ollie's. I don't think it's a brand, but it's just... It's just me. <laughs> they fit. This is just something that I would rock. And I had been seeing this at my local Ollie's. I actually like this brand. I found this brand at Marshall's. I bought the vanilla and I really, really like it. If you want to get into sugar-free drinks, sugar-free coffee syrups, or if you're already using them and you never heard of P. Pew del Previsto Gourmet, okay, you will find it maybe at TJ Maxx, you definitely will find it at Marshall's. Um, the packaging looks a little bit different, but Al Aldi's also sells these. And I added this while I was out on the road today, I bought a large unsweetened iced tea and I added some to it and I had raspberry iced tea and it was pretty good and guess what, no sugar. I don't wanna drink my calories, guys, I'd rather eat them, okay? And uh, yes, so, I really really like this and I will see I'm gonna see if um, I know my cold brew coffee maker I believe you can cold brew tea but I kind of want to keep them separate so I'm gonna be investing in a cold brew tea maker so I could have my iced tea summertime is coming I could have my iced tea because Jordan skinny syrup has a um, chai vanilla chai syrup and I make iced tea I make vanilla chai iced tea but I'm making it with hot tea, letting the hot tea cool, then adding ice. But if I can cold brew tea, like I'm cold brewing my coffee, that would be great. You know, just to have a switch up. But this raspberry syrup was really, really good. And I'm not really a raspberry lover, but I have had raspberry iced tea. So don't be afraid to try these guys. Really, really good. And I will be picking up more. But that is this haul. Remember, if you're interested in the 3D wall, the link to the Amazon will be in the description box, and I also will find the link to the double-sided tape. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm not a measurer. I just started with the biggest box first, and I believe it was a box of 48 or 49, you'll see when you click on it. And um, I just started at one end, and I left, I purposely started at the end by the door because if I had any perfections, it would be in that corner where the tree was. So it wouldn't be as obvious. And um, I did seven, seven full panels across, right? Then the last panel, I had like seven inches. 
of space. So I had to measure and cut the panels seven inches wide to go down that last corner. And also the bottom, when I got to the bottom, I had to cut off a panel, a piece, because I only could have nine inches. I had nine inches of space that wasn't covered. And so I had to cut those panels for the last bottom row. Um, yes, yeah, so I used a box of 49 and then I bought a box of 24. I still have quite a few pieces in that box. I don't even think I used six or seven tiles. I know I definitely didn't use 10 out of that 24, so I do have some left. Um, but it's super easy, trust me guys. I've never done anything like that before. Um, it's just very easy. It's just tedious messing with that double-sided tape. So if you have two hands, again, somebody could be peeling the tape. And my mother did offer to help me because she was here for Easter. But I wanted to go shopping. I didn't wanna, you know. So I, I think I started it the next day after she left. Um, but thanks for rocking with your girl. Thanks for supporting your girl. I will see you guys in the next video. I have an exciting all over the world shop with me with a lot of name brand finds. Uh, finds that I'm surprised that I found. Okay, that will be coming up in my next video. I hope you guys have a great Thursday night. And uh, that shop with me is coming up tomorrow. You guys have a good week and I got to work. I know. I just had off a four-day weekend last week. It just don't seem fair, though. It just seems like it goes by so fast. But it is what it is. That's why I made up for it today. I was in them streets heavy today. <laughs> but I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.